I was supposed to count the drawer. I'm a bad receptionist. Okay, why the phone ring like that? It ain't even got a ring like that. Thanks for calling Holiday and Express. Trace speaking, how may I assist you? Hey, what's your number? Um, I gotta go look. <sighs> Give me a second. Don't judge me. Oh, I'm, co I'm coming. I'm not even ready to gas. Don't. Oh, don't do me like that. Oh, I know y'all not back there talking. Yeah, we are. Talk about you. Okay, so this video is probably gonna be all over the place, but this is what it is. So what's up y'all, it's your boy Trent, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all the day in the life of working as a receptionist, front desk, clerk, in a hotel. So I just started here about, let's say about a week ago, and training was over within four days, and right now I am running the hotel. Not saying I'm running the hotel like I'm running, like I'm CEO, but yeah, bitch, I'm CEO. No, but I'm running the hotel and I'm doing everything I can with what I know, with what I've learned within a couple of days. So today is going to be not really a busy day, but like a steady day. Hopefully that the, I hope I'm going to be copyrighted for the music. Hopefully that the check-ins are coming periodically and not all at one time. So as of right now, we have 16 check-ins and I made my keys for the day. Started off my shift report for the day. I got my occupancies down. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So basically, this is what I'm talking about. This is my shift report right here. So right now, I got my occupancies down pat. I got how many people are coming in for today. Now, I can't show you all the people's names because I feel like that's not professional but these are all the check-ins i made all these keys for today if y'all like my video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell and yeah i'm trying to be low-key with it y'all don't want to see me doing this i'm trying to be a sneaky or sponsor oh look at my head my head look at my ass yeah i've been going through a lot i've been moving i don't just <sighs> we're just gonna record today all right yeah but like i told y'all so as of right now i'm not really doing nothing i'm just wait just light it's the it's the light well screw the light because i'm already getting copyrighted for the music playing in the back um i'm just waiting for some check-ins i haven't had not one check-in yet since i've been here i've been here since three o'clock right now it's four o'clock and this is my first job where i'm like a front desk receptionist like hotel clerk this is my first job so okay now the phone's ringing so y'all get to see something hold on okay wait i'm coming thanks for calling hugging and express trace speaking i'm gonna assist you Okay, so as of right now, um, my manager isn't in right now because he's the only person that you'll be able to talk to. But he will be in tomorrow, around about 6 o'clock in the morning, all the way to about, let's say, 4 o'clock. So you can give a call then. His name Okay. Y'all, she won't talk about nothing at all. She won't talk about nothing. Uh, um, she was trying to set up, like, a group thing where she wanted to, like, get a bunch of staff members and stuff to get, like, a room or something. I don't know. Mm -mm. I got expensive orgy from there, but that's just me, though. Who am I to judge? I ain't judging nobody. So what I do when I clock in, I clock in, and then I come to work, and I be like, you know what? I'm that nigga. Ain't none of y'all got nothing on me. No, that ain't what I do. I clock in, I go, I was supposed to count the drawer. I'm a bad receptionist. Bad receptionist. I'm gonna lose. Oh my God, do I to keep calling it? Okay, hold on, y'all. Okay, why the phone ring like that? It ain't even got a ring like that. Thanks for calling Holiday and Express. Trace speaking, how may I assist you? Uh huh. I believe that we weren't giving back a refund. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But um, my manager will be here tomorrow between the times of 6 in the morning to, let's say, about 3 o'clock. So you can definitely give him a call because at the end of the day, I'm just a receptionist, so I can only do for so much. I can't approve or give you back any money for anything. So I would definitely give him a call in the morning between the times of 7 and 3. All right. You too. Bye. Book act for some money. Thank you for calling the Holiday Inn Express. Trace, we can assist you. Yes, between the times of 6.30 in the morning and 9.30 in the morning. Got you. I assumed that he was in the hotel room because he was asking about food. Now, if he was just somebody off the street asking if we got breakfast, come on in. <laughs> I'm ratchet. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. But, yeah, I'm your receptionist. Let me stop. Let me grow up. But, yeah, so when I clock in, I come. I'm supposed to be counting the money. Then I get my shift report. After I get my shift report, I'm supposed to be jotting down the occupancies, who's coming in today, how many departures we have for the day. Then after that, I'm going to open up my arrivals and see who's going to be, but basically I'm picking up rooms. So I'm seeing who has like a membership versus no membership versus third party booking versus all that type of stuff. And I know it's kind of like, y'all like, what is he talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. I just know I do it because I need a paycheck because I need to live. So I do that. And then after I fill out my shift report, well, after I start my shift report, then I have a good one. Have a good one. Y'all be safe. 
So basically all the housekeepers are going home and they're leaving me in here to run the place because I'm CEO. Uh, let me, cause y'all have to complain when I say this like, this is my hotel, okay? They have given a ratchet hotel. No, I'm sorry. Um, so after I start my shift report, um, start making my keys for the rooms. No, actually, no, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. Rewind. I, <laughs> I start assisting the room. Mm -hmm. I start, what's the word I'm looking for? I start picking out, I start dishing out rooms. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, I start dishing out rooms. I start giving them rooms, I start assigning. I start assigning. That's what I'm doing. I'm assigning the rooms. <laughs> Look, business, man, business. This is my hotel. Now, if I start assigning their rooms, and you know, if you want a king size, you know, I try to like see how many king sizes. First come, first serve. So if you're a member, you're gonna get the best first. And if you pick through a third party, you're gonna get whatever I give you. No, I'm joking. Um, I try to assist people the best way I can. I try to give them 100 to give 10 percent. I try to give them 110% good customer service. I try my best to give them good rooms, quality rooms, rooms that they deserve. Um, if some of the rooms that are booked up or that are not clean that need to be like checked in, then you're going to pretty much call the housekeeper and see if they can try to get those rooms clean. But if they can't, you're going to have to try to substitute it. I try to substitute it with a good room. Um, third party people, sorry, it's like first come, first serve. You're going to have to take whatever we have, just, you know, because members come first. Um, yeah, that's life at a hotel. I'm just all over the place, but let me charge my phone. Imagination, you better use your <laughs> imagination. Let's my beat. I want to meet you, sure. I guess I edit this video when I get home and I, big baby. It's pretty slow. It's pretty chill. What I do is when I'm not doing nothing, I like try to restock the sodas, restock the waters, organize the inventory over there, try to like sweep up the floor. I'm not gonna mop it. I'm not mopping it, but I sweep it. Try to vacuum the floor over here, wipe things down, fresh things up, spray some air freshener. Make sure the bathroom is clean, presentable. I'm not gonna clean it. I'm not gonna clean it, but I'll assist it. Then I go, you know, eat a snack or two, like some banana bread and go all the day. Just be sitting here <sighs> waiting for the first guest. Now what's gonna happen, what they gonna do, what they gonna do, what's, what's gonna piss me off is they all gonna come in at one time. I don't know if they all getting off one flight, all getting off the same highway, I don't know what's going on. But they're gonna be from different parts of the country, different parts of the state, different parts of the city. They're gonna all come in at one time. Now, <clears throat> I should record my reaction to everything that's going on so y'all can see how overwhelmed I be. It's a cool job, it's laid back, it's chill. I feel like I'm doing a good job, I feel like I'm doing a great job, honestly. I've only been here for six days and I'm out of training within four days. Well, apparently I was doing good. Um, I got a prep talk. I was told that I was doing excellent. I was doing great. I was a fast learner. Um, I was very professional. My personality was great. I ended up with the customers great and I was learning fast. I was propositioned for something. You know, I'm not gonna tell y'all really what it is right now because I don't wanna put it out to the universe because I don't want it not to happen. But I was propositioned for a possible promotion. <laughs> Or raise after just a week of being here and just based off my performance. So to be honest, y'all need to learn a thing or two from me. If you watch this video, you trying to worry about how to be a receptionist, just be yourself. Be ratchet. <laughs> be yourself. Be ratchet. <laughs> it ain't always bad. It could be some positivity coming out of that. For real. I speak my mind. I say how I feel. It is what it is. I'm still nice, though. I'm still nice, I'm still respectful. I still go out my way for the customers. I don't know, I just feel like now, with doing retail for so long and doing custom service for so long, I feel like it's just a part of me. Like, I am naturally, organically gonna go out my way the best way I can to assist the customers without stressing myself. I'm gonna give you the best customer service and give you the best experience and give you what I can offer with what I have. You feel me? I don't have much, I'm just a receptionist, I'm not a manager, but <clears throat> I'm trying to become a man. <laughs> I'm trying to become a manager, for real. Like, I'm trying to become somebody's supervisor, like, daddy look all right, though. Like, Bobby looking good. Like, come on, man, y'all, look at Bobby. Look at Bobby, look at Bobby. No, nah, but Bobby looking good, though. But pretty much what we're waiting on is our first guest. <laughs> Currently, we're still waiting in the lobby. And this is why I'm gonna get copyrighted because they keep playing this whack music and I'm gonna get copyrighted for some music I don't even know what it is. At least let me get copyrighted for something that I know that I can sing with it. Look, I can't even sing with it. Buh, buh, buh. I know y'all probably like, this is how he act at work. Like, ain't nobody in here and y'all this how I act at work. I'm gonna be me regardless. I'm gonna always remain true to me and true to myself because that's what's gotten me this far. That's what's gotten me 2,600 subscribers over the past two years, which is kind of nothing, but it's something. It's better than some people. Some people be on YouTube 10, 8, 9 years, shit, 5, 6, 7 years, 8, 9 months, and only got 100 subscribers. Not even a thousand. Not even a thousand. 
But um, right now, I'm just going to just chill and just chill out and just wait for the first guest to come. I guess that'll be coming in a few. I already got my keys and everything made. I already got what I need, my spill. You know, the doors close at 8 o'clock. Um, if you want to go in and out, you know, you're going to use your key. The same key you're going to use for the doors, you're also going to use for the elevator. When you're using the elevator key, just make sure you take the key and you place it upon the sensor and not really waving in front of it so it can actually connect. Breakfast will be served between 6.30 and 9.30 in the morning. So if it's anything you else... Wait, damn, I'm messing up. If it's anything... <laughs> I'm still messing up. If it's anything you need, such as toiletry, washcloths, towels, I'm your boy. You call me. But that's kind of like some of what it is. Like I said, I've only been here six days, six days, and I got all this damn pack. I don't know nothing. I don't, I don't know. Some people might watch this and be like, oh yeah, I've been doing this for 15 years. Whew. It's a good job, laid back, chill, good money, nice vibe, but. It can get overwhelming at times. You realize people are trying to go to sleep. People are trying to lay down. People are trying to relax. People are trying to chill. If you can't make that happen for them, it's some problem. And I ain't got time for the problems. Cause I'm just like, what you bringing? What you bring me? I'm gonna bring it back. So you said it's some problems. It's some problems, man. Because I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna give you the same energy you're giving me. Don't let, don't let. Hold on. Don't let, don't let this fool you, okay? Because I'm gonna give you the same thing you give me. Now, unless you hit me thing twice unless you hit me i'm not going you can cuss me now don't be up there just insulting hold on hold on now don't just be up there just calling me names and stuff like i'm just gonna take it because i'm not i'm probably gonna throw a little shot back or at least some shade or something like you know <clears throat> it's the blubber thighs for me um it's the ghosty face for me like i'm gonna say something like don't think i'm just gonna just get away with it but as long as i'm on the clock on the clock Getting this bread, I was getting some big, <laughs> getting some big, I was getting some. Whoa, <laughs> now that work. <sighs> Let's call my mom. Oh snap! Comedian Kathy Griffin announced that she has lung cancer. I'm so sad. I love Kathy Griffin. Hello. Mom. What? What you doing? Getting ready for work. Oh, uh, you want to say hi to my subscribers? Hey, subscribe. You say hey to YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Y'all, she getting ready for work. One woman, one woman get ready for work, she turned to a monster. I know, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> what I tell you? She don't be trying to, it's like, she hate it. I don't blame her, though. You know, once you get to a certain age, you hate going to work and stuff like that. And she, I'm not even her age, and I hate going to work now. Like, I hate it. Well, <clears throat> I love it here. Love it, love it here. <laughs> but y'all know work can be stressful. Work can be work. Let me try this one right here. Am I giving CEO or am I giving like I work for him and I'm flexing like I'm CEO when he not here, but when he come in, I bitch down. And, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm gonna holler at y'all when somebody come here. So right. All right, so right now, I'm not gonna lie, I took a few guests. Earlier, I took a few guests. It took me about mm, six people. I don't record it because I feel like it wasn't appropriate for me to just be throwing up a camera in their face or trying to like ease it in there. So right now, I'm gonna do something called a roll call. So a roll call is gonna just call around to different hotels in our general area. I'm gonna ask them, excuse me. I'm gonna ask them how many rooms do they have available. So I usually just kind of make it funny, make it entertaining. Thank you for calling the Hampton and Suites by Hilton Richmond. CCEO open. Hey, Kadeem, this is Trey from the Holiday Inn downtown. I was wondering how many hotel rooms did you have available? You said 70? All right, thanks, man. All right, bye. Y'all see Kadeem be trying to sound cute. He answered the phone all dorky. <laughs> he do it every night. He answered the phone all dorky. Hey, this is Kadeem. But then I'm like, hey, Kadeem, this is Trey. Yeah. Oh, wow. And like, what? <laughs> So they had 70 hotels available. I don't know what that means, y'all. I just know <laughs> I just know I'm supposed to ask that question and write it down. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's 70 available for people to stay in or 70 just in general in case like a tsunami hit and we need those people in some rooms. I don't know. I was wondering how many rooms did you have available? Uh, okay. Six and a half hours later. Two thousand years later. Yeah, we have rooms available. How many? Uh, 
Perfect. Thank you so much. Well, 15, yeah, fifteen double, please. You're welcome. All right. Okay, I feel like she didn't know what she was talking about. She said, we got rooms available. How many? She said 15, and she said two. And she said 15, 15. Confusion. <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> I've been here six days. She's been here one. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> mama, mama, I'm sending you positive vibes and blessings. You might see this one day. So I ain't even gonna talk about it because I've been in that same predicament, not knowing what to say, how to say it. But you could have just said nothing. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm gonna put thirty. I'm gonna put thirty. Thanks for calling the holiday next question. You sure speaking to me, please? Yeah. Thank you. How many rooms did you guys have available? Okay. I shouldn't tell you anything because she was like, oh, like you weren't excited to hear from me. Nah, Cole, I, I just was expecting it to be Demetria. What? I was expecting to be Demetria. Um, okay, hold on. Okay. I ain't got some with you. Yeah, <laughs> three. You got three rooms. Um. Uh, three. Y'all must be busy. Yeah, we are. I've been calling y'all for about an hour and a half. No, you haven't. No, 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 no. You tell the story. <laughs> no, I only called for like 10 minutes. And yeah, what's your number? Um, I gotta go look. <sighs> Give me a second. Don't judge me. Oh, I'm, co I'm coming. I'm not even ready. Yes, don't. Oh, don't do me like that. Come on now, call it. You done gave me two different names. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me check. Let me turn into a manager. Let me check my system real quick. We, oh, I know y'all not back there talking. Yeah, we are. Talk about you. All right, how many rooms yeah. I have available? I shouldn't even tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got 51 rooms available. Okay. All right, it was nice talking to you. you. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Yeah, I'll just be at work just trying to make the time go past. I really be up in here just trying to like, I don't know, be productive. Like I'm going through a lot. I know <laughs> this is not that kind of video, but seriously, like I'm going through a lot. Life is hard. Life is what you make it. So I just try to, when I come to work, no matter what job I'm at, I mean, I've been an asshole at some jobs. So if you watching this and I work with you and you knew I was an asshole, I was an asshole because I was an asshole. But if I like a job and I feel good, I like a job that make me feel like somebody like, hold on. Can't tell me nothing. This job makes me feel like I'm somebody. It really does. So I feel good. I dress up. I smell good. This job makes me feel good about myself and it makes me feel like that I'm doing something positive and I'm doing something with my life. You know, I can go from this as like a front desk clerk receptionist to maybe like a lawyer's office or maybe like an airport or maybe like working as an assistant for like somebody like you know i'm just very excited that i have this opportunity to be doing this you know i just try to make the best of i try to be positive i try to be myself i try to still be entertaining but yet professional and i hope you guys like my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell this video was pretty much about me being a receptionist front desk clerk in a hotel i hope you guys learned something i hope you guys like it like i said i've only been here for six days so everything you've seen everything you've heard i've learned that within the six days of being here after four days of training i was left with the responsibility of running the whole front desk by myself the whole entire hotel so everything is on me i feel honored because i feel like i am able to do it so i hope you guys like my video and if you watch this video you better subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel don't forget to like it don't forget to comment comment your experience if you've worked at a hotel or if you work as a front desk clerk or if you was a receptionist let me know i hope everybody that watched this video like my personality and like the video i hope you guys can vibe with me i hope you guys found something educational about it i hope you guys found something entertaining about it i know i'm just ranting and just going all over the place i'm just like just talking but thank you guys so much for coming to my channel i hope you guys like it i'm about to end it i don't want to end it but the video was already long enough y'all and i've just been talking I've just been, and i hope you guys just subscribe subscribe because i need subscribers so i can see i don't you had them in subscribe to y'all y'all got me running y'all got me talking y'all got me doing stuff subscribe to my channel that's what y'all need to do subscribe because i'm about to go so i gotta finish some work i gotta do my report my report i did i did my call arounds i gotta go so i know he watching me y'all on, on 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 the cameras you know how they do corporate business make sure they keep up with me <laughs> but thank you so much for coming to my channel and i'm out no matter what shut